From anatomy to anesthesiology, from pathology to pharmacology, from microbiology to medicine, a one-man resource to the world of health sciences. Welcome to Dr. Paul's Medical Lectures. A practicing physician, Dr. Paul offers you essential insights on diseases afflicting millions of people around the world. For today's lecture, here is Dr. Paul. Good evening, folks. This is uh, Dr. Paul. Thank you very much for tuning to this uh, channel. Uh, this morning, I want to talk a few minutes about uh, clavicle fracture. You can see the chest x-ray of uh, a boy like around 10 years old and you can see clearly both of his uh, clavicles here you can see the scapula and uh, you can see the clavicle and you can see the sternum and the ribs and on the right side that's all fine but on the left side you can see the clavicle you can see the changed shape it got an angle exactly at the point of fracture we are seeing here a buckle fracture or a green stick fracture and uh, that's very very evident just to uh, compare the two clavicles the right and the left the light the, uh, the the right is like a normal one with its uh, angle but the left one has changed it got like an uh, acute angle right at the point of the fracture so this fracture folks is very very is the most common of all childhood fractures and you should know how to treat it and uh, it's a long bone and most often it breaks occur in the middle of it occasionally the bone will break where it attaches to the sternum or uh, or to the uh, um, or, or to the outside so now causes most often it's uh, it could be a direct blow to the shoulder or a fall sometimes they fall on outstretched arm and that results in clavicle fracture and it also happens in babies as they pass through the birth canal and the symptoms are most often a, sa a sagging shoulder inability to lift the arm because of pain a grinding sensation if an attempt is made to raise the arm you can also see a bump or the break that's a so when you examine them you will see clearly what is happening you will see a bump at the fracture site and a gentle pressure over the break will bring about pain and you could see the tenderness in that area the treatment you can most often all they need is uh, an arm support a figure of eight wrap or a simple arm sling it gives comfort and most often that's all they need along with some uh, pain medication like Tylenol. You can also refer them to physical therapy to give extra muscle strength in the shoulder and you need to follow up with them so that uh, you make sure that it completely healed. Sometimes even complications happen like mal union and uh, so it's very important to follow up and some of the children with the comminuted fracture or even adults they require surgical treatment with the plates and screws and pins so whenever you see a displaced fracture then you should refer them to other pedics as usual there are surgical complications like uh, infection bleeding pain so remember this point it's a very very common fracture and most often it uh, is healed by a figure of eight arms length. So that's about clavicle fracture. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening. For more medical videos, please visit us at www.drpaul.org and take time to browse through hundreds of health videos we regularly post on our site. If you are preparing for USMLE, PLAB, and other medical exams, make sure you visit our website to browse through our videos explaining the essential points you need to know before taking these examinations. For more information, visit us at www.drpaul.org. Thank you, and may God richly bless you.